we are on the rooftop okay hi welcome to this video in this video i'm gonna teach y'all how to make like red sea lips so let's get into it follow me on instagram um and yeah by the way the intro music and everything like that my art style is not coincident i literally love breads and my art is so inspired by them because like when i grew up i was watching breads and I was like unknowingly like really making Brad's figures and I love it so anyways my favorite is Jasmine and I make a lot of Brad's art on my Instagram so check me out first off I actually make a circle and this is going to be like the full like the fullest of your lips and Brad's lips are like really full the way how I draw lips. I make like a cross or yeah, like a you know a plus sign like that. On the horizontal line, I also make like the ends of the lips, you know. That's how I uh, make sure if the character is smiling or if it's not smiling. When it goes up like this, most of the time the character looks neutral or is smiling just a little bit. But like I wanted to make like neutral lips, like she's not really in, you know, she's not smiling or sad. What helps with the lines is if you like rotate your canvas and like imagine you're making an egg, you know. When you put it like this, it's like you're making an egg. So make like the bottom of the lips, make it like half round as an egg. It helps though. You should make a heart of a lip most of the time so literally draw a heart if you have problems with um, drawing the bottom of the lip i didn't learn this i just made it up <laughs> but it really helps with the bottom of the lips uh, the top of the lips because you know full lips full breast lip have have like that strong arch but like sometimes i don't really do it so strong i make it like more of a soft lip with those you know cute little hearts and in the middle of it, I also draw a circle, of course, for like that neutral Debbie Ryan face. <laughs> if you have TikTok, you know. I open a new layer to start coloring. I don't have a special pencil for coloring, just a line art pencil. And I just colored the lips in. Okay, so what makes lips outstand for me is when they have like um, shading, you know? Sometimes I start light, sometimes I start dark. <laughs> for today, I start off light, so that means that the light part of the lips is like in the middle. As you can see, like the highlight falls in the middle of the lips, and there's just something about lips. Like, literally, the. I don't know if this is literally correct, but this is how I draw. The middle of the lips have like some little, like a little dark thing. You know, you see what I'm doing? Like it has some uh, virtually darker um, shading going on. The middle of the lips, I make it darker, and the ends of the lips, I also. I try very hard to make the ends of the lip very dark because I like the ombre effect of that. It makes the lip even cooler if you make the ends of the lip like very dark. You know, there's shadow over there. Okay, not too too dark. Or it's whatever you like. Okay, did you see what I just did? I made with the airbrush tool, I tried to make a fake glossy thing and now with the actual line art pencil, I make like very sharp gloss uh, definition. I don't really have a reason or technique for this, I just see with my hands where gloss needs to go. Most of the time it's at these places where I put the gloss and I have different ways of putting on gloss on lips, which I'm going to touch on later when this lip drawing is done only the line art and yeah
Okay, this is some extra thing that I do and discovered. If you have the size of the lips, because of the fullness of the lips, it's like just too much to make these, you know, visual expressions. So I learned to make little stripes. If it goes up, the tractor is happy. And if it goes down, the chart is like, you know, mm, kind of, you know, confused or annoyed. And when it's angry or happy, you know, that's just regular. So here is why I show the different types of gloss I make. So at the beginning I said I had like, I think like this one is the most realistic one that I have. Um, for on digital, you know, when I draw tradi traditional, I also have a very, very hyper realistic way of drawing lips. But I'm not really into hyper realism anymore. So the, I'm just going to show like more in a cartoony way my whole art style in the majority is more of a cartoon way i should have mentioned that but i think y'all noticed that okay second way is like very obvious like two bubbles i do this most of the time because when i draw characters and they're like far away you know full body characters or you see this a lot of in my pro in my portraits drawings too i just make two bubbles because i think it's cute and very very glossy Another way is something I don't really do often, but I literally make literally lips. These are overly glossy lips, which I think is so cute. I should draw them more, but look how cute. That's actually so cute. But yeah, you know, and then with some extra big um, glitters and, you know, extra definition. And I forgot to mention, but I actually do highlights on the, you know, the beginning of the lips like where the hearts were you know in the beginning there is where i also put like low highlighter let you to know that you like my videos by liking it by commenting it by watching it the whole through and yeah thank you love you so traditionally yeah that's just very obvious um it's like pretty the same but the way it's just with pencils is just different pen yeah i actually use uh markers more than pencils because i think like markers are just very more handy for coloring pencils it's just too much work and i think it's kind of wasting to literally draw everything in with like pencils so just a sketch and then i'm going to color it in i actually drew this lip first then the digital one so i have this old voiceover of this so don't mind my <laughs> voice and i basically said the same thing it's not really different like you know but still <laughs> Issue. I don't really have a rule for where I shadow most. I just feel as if like at the moment where I feel like I want to shadow more. And most of the time, I think it's at the bottom of the lip. I don't know why. I think it's like looks good. And like in the middle of the lip, we, I think like humans have something like more shadow is in the middle of the lip. So sometimes when I make a very detailed drawing, I will like accent that acknowledge that that we have like you know this little darkening sting in the middle of our lips so and our lips are like very hardish like you can literally most of the time you should make could make a heart of um a lip but everyone's lip is different so if you want to make to make me a video about like lip shit lip <laughs> about lip forms, different lip forms, then that's cool. I didn't really study on that, so that would be great for me to study the first. Because most of the time, my lip forms are always this Brad C stuff, so. I just keep shadowing because all oh, you want it to be like, and like, I would love to make a video about like shadowing and stuff, how you have to shadow, because that would be cool. But all right. <laughs> Yeah, we won't tell nobody. Hey, hey, listen to what I say. Oh, 
my cell is getting more cartoonish again and I don't mind it just changes every time so um you see that it's not perfect and I don't really care that's what I always do um sometimes I do just a little shading here but most of the time I don't sometimes I do I feel like doing this this is the way I do gloss just like very circular motions like I feel like putting steps on it you know and sometimes I even do this <laughs> Okay, another bonus. I love just teaching stuff. Uh, yeah, let me know if I should make uh, more how-to uh, videos because I really enjoyed making this. So I'm going to draw three faces for y'all, three perspectives of faces and how I draw lips with them. This, this is only focused on lips. So this is a neutral person just looking, you know, forward and the lips of this person are just very normal. Second person is moving, you know, a little bit on the other side with the face. I kind of have difficulties making lips with this, but just need to practice, you know. <laughs> you know. What is you know? I mean, I meant y'all. <laughs> I need to practice on this uh, voice memo thing. Oh, I cannot. But anyways, we're moving on. It's kind of the same, but you really have to um, make sure that like the sides of the lips are like making sense but still these are the lips I make on this side of the face and here I'm drawing a person that smiles I use this lip reference a lot from Totally Spice I love how when they smile that their lips are just 